Hardleg and his friends, they're gonna play a lot of games. It's Legs Play. And welcome back to Legs Play! Hardleg Joe here once again. Hi. CB Radio and. Bootleg Drew. Yes, thank you very much. No, no problem. I, I thought you were going to say bootleg Drew. I, I was ready to say should, something. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. uh, I, I just realized I didn't catch in for the, the thing, so I just had to put my own little two cents in on that. It's okay. The harmonies were still all right. Yeah. yeah. Spoo! We're playing more Legends of Legaia, if you couldn't tell, by the thumbnail and the everything else going on. Uh, mm -hmm. I wasn't informed. <laughs> I know you weren't informed. We just dragged you here to see what your reaction would I be. I thought we were playing more Hollow Knight. <laughs> Have we been playing Hollow Knight? Have you played Hollow Knight? Nope. I heard it's good, though. Uh, okay. Good have you, you played anything? Uh, uh, oh, I've been playing uh, Injustice 2 uh, again recently. God's not among us. Mm. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I've been... Oh, sorry. I, I Brandon, was, no, go ahead, Brandon. I was just going to say, like, I've been playing uh, Destiny 2 again because I'm getting ready for an expansion that's coming out. Destiny 3. Uh, <laughs> Uh, I've been playing, I, I had to choose between Dead Cells or uh, Death's Gambit. I think I chose slightly poorly with Dead Death's Gambit, but... Uh, I've heard Dead Cells is pretty good. Yeah, Dead it's, Cells, so, it's so good, you might copyright a review. Mm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or plagiarize a review. Yeah. I just know that I'd, I already have Dead Cells on my PC. It's just mm. on my PS4. I was trying to figure out which one I wanted. Ah, I gotcha. Ooh, a golden claw. claw. Ah. I guess that might be go to that CB Ladio girl mm. that uses the claws. Let's see. Turns out it's an accessory. Yeah, golden claw. There we go. Hey. Hey, cool. All right. Um, and uh, also, I've been playing a lot of Dead by Daylight. Hmm. Dead by Daylight. I haven't. I've actually haven't heard of that one. It's. Just, have you heard of the Friday the Thirteenth game? Kinda. Yeah. Where like the half the one players person are, is Jason. Yeah. And the, the rest are escapees. Now yeah. take every other horror movie slasher. Mm -hmm. And that's what Dead by Daylight. There's literally Freddy Krueger, mm. uh, Michael. Uh, so they're just it's the the Jason game with classes. It's it's yeah with classes and it's a lot less. Yeah. Oh, I, cool golden claws. Yeah. Is uh, it still just one one guy uh, for hunting D4, five, yeah. or is it yeah, everyone's in, a serial killer? But there's specific as opposed to the other one where it's like you just kill them. This one you had to kill them in a very specific. We have to get them like you have to hit them twice and then put them on a hook. Oh, you've got to kill them in a dramatic fashion. Yeah, yeah you have to you have to kill them in a very, very narrow and specific fashion. Also, whereas... is it like actually Freddy Krueger or just someone yes, who is it... legally distinct from I Freddy I thought it, at first it was legally distinct mm -hmm. or like, oh, but this is called They actually got the... the rights to well, different His character's characters. name is The Nightmare, but when they go to the description, it's like, Freddy Krueger was like, why don't you just call him yeah. Freddy? But yeah, essentially, those those are DLC characters. You scary, have to buy them. Scary okay. Terry. But they're also incredibly, like the Freddy Krueger one, you draw them into a nightmare. It's like... A, oh, nice. Yeah, you actually... Oh, you My got collection. That. You actually... It's this weird, like, extra step to killing, which is uh, weird. Make them fall asleep first. Yeah. Plying them with warm milk and cookies. <laughs> Subtly setting things up so that they'll take a nap. And then because they're metagamers, they're just going to be like, I'm not going to do the yeah. thing. But then you use your skill to attract them to, to stuff they... I want... I want. How do I get up there? I don't know. We'll have to figure it out. It looks like there's a lot of puzzles with treasure coming up. So. Yeah. Oh boy. I like treasure. Um, but no, I just... I got back into Injustice 2 with uh, my friend Will, and uh, so we've been playing online. He and I have all the DLC, so I've been playing the newest... The Enchantress. Uh, ah. And I I really like the Enchantress like from a fighting game mechanic wise, just because like she doesn't deal a huge amount of damage. Because normally I play the bigger, slower brawler characters, except for in Mortal Kombat where I play Sub Zero like any other <laughs> jackass. Like everyone. Like uh, everyone. But um, comment in the comments with what games you're playing lately. Let us know if there's anything good we should know about. Yeah. Um. But I uh. But the Enchantress. What I like about her is that she's got a lot of really fun mechanics. Like, she can juggle, she can uh, deal, like, a straight <laughs> GPS. Like I know what you mean, yeah. but... Yeah, it's just funny to picture the Enchantress. I don't know. But uh, she has, like, a great, like, couple juggle, startups to juggle the opponent. Uh, I can keep them in the air for a long time. She's got a couple, like, she doesn't have an outright teleport, but she's got a great counter that's really uh, intuitive to counters. use within a combo. And so I was just like, oh, yeah, see? Did you, know, like, you can just, you know, whoopsie-daisy it over to the treasure. Speaking of counters and uh, injustice, I... Have you gotten to play, uh, uh, was it Red Hood? Red Hood. I His counters are less intuitive to me, but I really like what, oh, the way I... you can siphon into different, like, attack combos with them. 
Like, if you're good. Like, I've seen good Red Hoods, and I've seen very bad Red Hoods. Well, still the master of countering in that game is, without a doubt, Black Canary. And... Yeah, well, yeah, but Black Canary is also, like, it's basically you don't do anything but, but let countered, them attack. Yeah. yeah. Which is just, like, it's not my fighting style. I've seen a lot of really good Black Canary players that are just, it's like... It's like being a blue player. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. They're just, like, real patient. And, like, but I like to set up my stuff. But what I like most about Enchantress is that like she summons a you can use her uh, little thrall that she summons either as defensively to keep their movement limited and then pop them up in the air, or you can use it as basically like you pop Ooh. you do this you do like a little debuff you, she puts on them and then you uh, go in and just thrash them. Yeah, I the I like the like simplistic looking character uh, simpl mm. simplistic like movement characters. That's why I like Red Hood. Mm. He's got the very simplistic oh, nature and he's got a counter, which I I have a thing for counters. Right. Uh, but like I can't I can't make a character. Phone is full of kitchen counter porn. Yeah. <laughs> hey. I have a thing for counters. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like flash to him, just sort of like. Oh, it's that one's marble. <laughs> oh, oh, it's like, yes. Granite yeah. countertops. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's not the only thing that's hard wood. <laughs> God damn it. My dad walks downstairs yeah. like, oh, see ya. Yeah. Leave the house now, please. <laughs> Uh, I like the idea of that big empty room. I just wanted to see like a small note on the ground that says "Boss out to lunch." <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> yeah, I get. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, I guess. This is a big looks... empty room. <laughs> Whatever. What should we put in this, guys? I got an idea. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta put a, sl a one chest slightly to the left. Slightly to the left. Don't make it any kind of symmetrical. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is an evil place. Yeah. Everyone knows evil's unsymmetrical. Is asymmetrical in design, both in design and in attitude. Mm. Yep. They've got to be un unreal. That's another thunderstorm. Yeah. You guys like this? Yeah, thunderstorm's cool. Yeah, it's it's like watching a. a I want to capture punk. one. You've been saying Daft Punk a lot. I don't, I don't know what this. It's like hair metal. I don't know what kind of. I've never been to an actual concert before. Ah. Yeah, no. They uh, don't have purple lightning. They don't have purple I, I lightning. Can almost guarantee yeah, you. I can guarantee I'm not you going for well. lightning. I'm just saying like light show, big old purple. Yeah, well, that's like a laser rock show. That's like, like a specific. It's own. It's own, its own yeah. kind of thing. Bloody it's like what I think they would use to make uh, all of Prince's outfits. <laughs> just purple rain and lightning. Yeah, yes. That's funny. Yeah. I like it. That's that's a good joke. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I I do that from time to time. Occasionally. Yeah, very occasionally. And but I'm um, not being picked up at I, all. I don't approve, but but. Uh, uh, but yeah, so it's uh, the topic of fighters, but the the game. So yeah, I've been playing that game, and then uh, I tried to get back into Dark Souls for a while, but I just I couldn't do it. Uh, so it's really uh, that's the uh, that's the thing I had a problem with Death Gambit, mm. is that essentially it's 2D Dark Souls. Ah, uh, and I'm like, oh, that's nice, but I was hoping like Dead Cells is essentially randomized Castlevania, and I'm like, yes, it's so good. Yep, roguelike Castlevania. Yeah, yeah. which is cooler in concept and. The the mo I played it actually for a little bit with uh, at my friend Scott's shop, but uh, it was just it wasn't as, it, like it, like I liked the movement system, but like the combat wasn't as intuitive for me. Like I could see where it's really fun. I just like I just needed more time to play it to really get into it. But these are all things that are passing the time for me before uh, Spider Man comes out. No, the new Spider Man looks really good. Oh. Um, now, the thing that's got me more hyped than any game I've been hyped for in the last 10 years mm -hmm. is the Soul Calibur 6. Oh. I just saw, it, uh, like, someone just sent me, like, a little thing about it that told me that the thing that I've been waiting for in a Soul Calibur to happen again is happening. Story mode? Uh, for creative characters. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, on they're going to have their own things instead of just... On top of that, they're also getting their own weapons. Like oh, they did in three unique weapons that weren't in. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, it makes me like it went from, oh, I'm interested in Soul Calibur six to I'm going to buy the special edition. And then I looked with what came with the special edition. Mm. I'm like, I'll just get the normal edition. <laughs> <laughs> it, it just comes with like this the music, which I'm okay with that. And it's a bunch of DLC that's and not DLC. out yet. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like I'm not. I, well, like, what happened to the days with like I I okay. Oh, oh, actually, right. One more. Uh, the the last the. Special edition I got for Soul Calibur literally came in what looked like a book, mm -hmm. velvet inside. I got a art book. I got the music, and it looked and felt amazing. This other one's just like, oh, it's a steel book. That's mm -hmm. real nice, guys. The uh, the reason I was gonna say I can send you a video on why DLC and that has been shaped and why they sell like they do now. Like there's a, there's I know a, that. There's but... a, yeah, the game market. We basically, as consumers, forced them to do what they're doing yeah. right now. But that's beside the point.
But was that the? What no, you were I was gonna. Uh, I was gonna say with the. I don't even remember my point now. Where uh, I was apologies. Like Do you remember where I was going with it, Joey? Soul Caliber. Soul Caliber. Uh, oh, I, I was just going to say, like, I remember, like, competitive-wise, I didn't get into Soul Caliber. I love casual play of Soul Caliber, making characters and, like, yeah. the different fighting styles. The problem was, for me, it was a little too simplistic, as, like, a person who plays Mortal Kombat is so used to combos and, like, button sequences. The, like, the simple, like, you know... You make your own combos, but not really. Like, and Soul Calibur Five tried to rectify that with a lot more, but the combos didn't make sense to me the way they structured oh, them. Soul Calibur Five, used unanimously by even like people who mm. don't like Soul Calibur, mm. was terrible. Yeah. Well, obviously, if they didn't like Soul Calibur, but yeah, they didn't by see the people the who did like yeah. it. I mean, yeah, four was, yeah, three was good, because, and the creative character was really good. Two was the darling. For, mm. for me, three is the best. Uh, Four's creative character was decent, but the story kind of lacked, and the gameplay. Was I don't. Crazy. I don't remember a story in the four. I just remember that tower that you yeah, did that it, like gave you kind of an ending. It was basically like the tower mode of like the whole game was just a tower mode. From yeah. Mortal Kombat. And then five was just uh, let's take a dump on every bit of lore that we set up throughout the entire game series, <laughs> and then give you some crap characters with yeah. really annoying combos and. The only thing I, the only mechanic I liked was the girl with the orb in five, and that was just because like you could do some really tricky, interesting like ring outs and stuff. And that that's my problem, main problem. And a lot of people who play Soul Calibur seriously will probably rave me on this. But like hey. the main problem I found was that like instead of being combo heavy and it's about who like oh, you're timing hey. your attacks and counter attacks, it was more about can you get the grab in. Can you either ring them out or lock them into a chain? I know there's going to be a few stages that don't have the ring out. Stuff, yeah, and that's that's going to be cool. Because like on competitive online, I was just like I played Nightmare and I just rang them out every yeah. time. It was just too easy. It was just chain wop, chain or up, yeah, up strike, up strike, and then you side strike them out of the stage. Yeah. Well, that's the thing. Like even even in not doing that, mm -hmm. some characters like Nightmare are mm -hmm. were in five fundamentally broken like there yeah. was uh, no one else had an attack that you could do when you're down on the ground mm -hmm. his attack was literally he could he had an attack where he could stab you in the ground and yep. do a buttload of damage uh with a lightning I figured strike. out the puzzle yeah. nice. great axe nice now nice. we got an axe for Bruce now we can ask him a question again it's excellent but yeah missing that. you say the... excellent <laughs> yeah excellent that's to be excellent. expected all right that's enough of that joke anyway um this but will no, be an the, excellent episode. What I, uh, the, my, so again, my problem was just that it didn't feel like the goal was to defeat your opponent in a like conventional sense that I've been used to. It was more so just like out, like staging yourself on the stage oh, yeah, from no. your opponent. It was like because of the way they tried to mix 3D and 2D scroll fighting. Like they had the 3D arena, but they didn't have the freedom of movement like Naruto. So they had like the mo limited movement of a 2D scroll fighter, but they were like, but you now the key was like the moment they attack, sidestep, you chain them, you're, they're dead. That's also again uh, the stage designs mm -hmm. is primarily what they uh, the issue was. Mm -hmm. Like two didn't have as many that you could actually ring out people easily with. Right. Uh, three had less. Granted, their final area was just a final destination of ringing out. Yeah. Um, and then four and five pretty much were just like, yeah, let's Ooh, go. nice. Look at that. Damn. That's a nice axe. Now, that it is a nice axe, you might say. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, and at least it's not uh, so big that it actually makes you have to slow, like... It's like a fast axe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fast acting axe action. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, it, that was funner to say than I thought it would be. That was some good I was like action. halfway through and I got really excited because <laughs> I realized it worked better. Oh. Uh, Tough action and then to action. Um, yeah, I was just gonna. If, if 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 you don't mind me going on a little diatribe, it's perfectly in, fine. It's it's interesting to me how my tastes in games have changed over the years. Oh. Because I remember like four years ago, I would say that like no single player game almost is worth your money mm -hmm. because I measured games almost entirely like how much fun can I get out of them? Like experience. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. And so the the idea was like you know I was all about fighting games, I was all about, like, rhythm games and right. stuff like that. Things you could play with other people. Yeah, because yeah, yeah, I'm like, you know, if, in a fighting game, I can always, the challenge, there will always be challenge because you right. can always face someone else. If I get, like, a single play, if I get, like, a Call of Duty, eventually mm. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna beat the game. Right. And I guess, like, yeah, you can do, like, online and stuff mm -hmm. like that, but you're still, it's like a team effort. Well, the biggest that, selling point actually... for Call of Duty's became like zombies as far as that function because it was the only couch co-op and like 
and the mo- yeah. and the online. Actually. Yeah, and the yeah, and the online. But like yeah. it was like it was basically Call like, of Duty was a bad example. Yeah, yeah, it was actually a, really... yeah. But like I get what you're saying. We're like, yeah, or I guess God of War would be a bad yeah, yeah, better. Yeah. I beat God of War, then then I got rid of it. Yeah. I beat Metal Gear Solid and then I got rid of it. Yeah. Which I kind of regret now because I don't want to play it again. Yeah, but. but I get, yeah, I get where you're going idea. with that. But nowadays it's sort of like, on the one hand, like. I've gotten to this point where I no longer have all this free time. Uh-huh. Oh. Who's this? Who's there? Don't be court. Don't be court. Someone's court. laughing at me. No, it's Jetty. Yeah. Oh, dear Lord, thank you. I am Jetty, Apostle of the Mist. This is my castle. Keep your hands off that machine. This is going to be us just pushing... <laughs> Damn oh, you it! You dick. <laughs> you dick! Come over here, I'll kick your ass! Uh, she said butt. Well, well, what a brave girl you are. It's too bad. If Juggernaut were not sleeping soundly in order to replenish his mist elixir... That, that's a thing. That's, that's the thing that we just yeah. introduced, yeah. yeah. That's what we yeah. call it. He would silence you all for eternity with just one blow. In this room, Jetty? You really? You blow up yeah. your own control room? That seems smart. This is yep. like smart villaining. Yep. Oh, that's why people Ooh. have the self-destruct buttons. <laughs> yeah. Dab! <laughs> why is he dabbing? Wait a minute. Now I remember it. Conquer him. Really? I have read your minds and now know your thoughts. You, Bootreg, disgust me. You, Hardreg. Oh. What is a chocolate bar? <laughs> This man knows not of chocolate. <laughs> he must be <laughs> annihilated. <laughs> I believe this is our second meeting. Oh. He's ah, got Power Ranger powers! Nice! Of course. of course, you also know well of Prince Court, though. Court? Court's my older brother. He owes me. He punched me that one time and took my Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> <laughs> What's the matter with you? You haven't forgotten what the mist caused that day. Have you forgotten? Whatever. Statement Oh god! He's, he disappeared! Gray Fox! <laughs> what the? Where's Jetty? Where did he go? <laughs> he must be invisible! Starts punching into the yeah. air, actually works for once. <laughs> Horrible mist. Oh, sorry. Uh, oh, sorry. Horrible <laughs> mist. That's Jetty. Oh, you're Jetty. changing him to yeah, a robot voice. Yeah, he's got robot yeah, voice yeah, yeah, now. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Uh, okay. I, that mist is not honorable. It is divine. You're a true ruler who controls the mist. You are a true god. What is your biggest generator to do? Can you remove your mask? I I I can't hear you. <laughs> Without the power of the mist, we have enhanced Siru and have created Sim Siru. Oh, oh god. god! Oh no! One, two, two three. three, and in the fortress, the ultimate mist generator. Oh, is there going to be a third one? Don't be a third one. I too am wearing such an invincible Sim Siru. Its power exceeds even that of Rogue. Makes me a power ranger. With this power, I'll destroy you. Finally! He just turned into two for a few seconds nice. and then didn't. Guess that's going to come into play. Ooh, he's weird. At least he's not a giant crab or a penguin. Yeah. I mean, I like his design. Uh, Kenny Maru, annihilate him, please. <laughs> <laughs> Kenny Maru, continue to spike. Iota! Wait, no, not Iota. We want... Where's Kenny Maru? He's on the second page, wow. like a commoner. Damn. Like a common commie. But he costs so little MP, especially yeah. because bootleg has, like, 50... Oh, get... dang, he's tall. I didn't realize that. And also, he he's just backhanding yeah. bootleg in the face again and again. Well, I did disgust him. Ow. Hey, Damn. guy. Thousand it'll, for each hit, man. It'll take me months to forget all that. <laughs> all the images I saw <laughs> touching me in places. All the muscled bodies <laughs> with the grease and the oil Oils. and the other fluids. And why was that young boy standing <laughs> next to covered in rose petals? All right, that's like it too far. It's, yeah, uh, he's come not, on, guy. Yeah, he's, he's not, not a like pedophile. That. He's just, he's what, just a, really? He's just a gay man. I'm There's talking about. I'm talking guy. about Hardrick. He's he sees him as young. 
You gotta stop. No. You gotta stop. Yeah, no. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Sorry, I apologized to all our patrons. Yeah, sorry about that. Don't, really? Don't change yeah. your Patreon things. Yeah. Pledges. It was hard It's a sensitive Pol topic these days, Brandon. Yeah. Uh. You can get put in jail for even talking about that topic. Yeah. That's why we're not mentioning that topic. Yeah, that's why we're not mentioning That's why we're moving is. on to Dragon Ball Super. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no, 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 but you were saying uh, how your game tastes have changed. No, oh, yeah. And I was... Actual discussion. Yeah, but, they, but like, what I like about the growing dialogue of like what you know you need as a game as you age is the interesting is like ah, I also appreciated more couch co-op and like you know more like an experience where it's like you know you're playing this with your friend but like in, as a younger guy I like even the, I like single player game like I, me and my brother played Skyrim for hours where like one of us would be like look up music or something that's better than the Skyrim like to, for the moment or the other would be playing or vice versa or like we'd have different roles based on the experience uh, let's see one second and so healing like, berry. Yeah, okay healing berry no oh, let's see what are you gonna do with bootrig yeah bootrig is gonna continue to do magic because that's yeah. what he does unless he gets pounded in the ground he's a muscle wizard he's a muscle wizard <laughs> I am a muscle wizard you will respect my authority. I believe that in Pathfinder, there's an actual class for that called a uh, barbarian? skull. Barbarian? No, it's a skull. It's a barbarian that uses magic. Oh, okay. It's a barbarian sorcerer uh, twin class. I cast violence. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't make up. That uh, that was critical role. Uh, I cast my fist across <laughs> your face. <laughs> nice. Oh, Jurassic Blow is hurricane kick without the hurricane. Interesting. And does just about as much as Kibimaru. Yep, it just takes two turns. Yeah. yeah. Now it's hard legs turn to get beat up. Yeah. At least he's not backhanding. I can block. I dang, yeah, I blocked, yeah, blocked a lot so of much yeah. of that damage. That was nice. Bootleg not defensive enough. Focus too much on oil. <laughs> but, yeah. The ripe oil. <laughs> It was, it, where the, the logic is that flow. if he's oiled enough, the punches will slip right off. <laughs> the oil must flow. <laughs> well, see, I, I always imagine a sort of like you know that clear oil that mm. makes makes flesh all shiny. But yeah, now, lessons, yeah. now he's like a uh, oil baron with like a monocle. <laughs> <and a backpack. laughs> where he's like, yes, the black crude must flow <laughs> over every man in my domain, <laughs> Jeffrey. <laughs> but, uh, it's, just, even... it's just hard leg right, in like. <laughs> Hard leg in a butler uniform. <laughs> like Jeffrey. <laughs> like my name's not Jeffrey. <laughs> <laughs> Jeffrey, don't you tell me what name it is. Just go and do your thing. You haven't told me what to do, sir, <laughs> and I shall continue not to tell you as long as you give me lip. <laughs> and I shall continue doing as such, and just just stares off into the distance. Go fetch me my towel. <laughs> You're wearing your towel. Well. Huh? What have I told you about lip? <laughs> Um, I have a hundred of this. Might as well use some explosive fists. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's insistent on a fisting. <laughs> <laughs> He's on the fist list. Yes. I like that idea. It's like, uh, go fetch me my towels. Like, uh, sir, you're fully dressed and are not even like wet. At any are way. you questioning me? <laughs> Who's to say why I want that towel? Now go and fetch it for me, like a good dog. Uh, but anyway, the the point I was getting across to you was that uh, I mean, as I changed, like you know, again, like. It's just the way I've developed with people that I haven't been being able to play games as much with people. Like, some people got really into MMOs or, like, the MOBAs, and I've been trying to get into those, but, like, because of the community, because it's not the same as, like, I've developed to, like, make a connection with the person I'm playing with, it's hard to just randomly jump into a team setting with people I don't know, and then, like, the people I do know, like, when I play with them, it's, like, a different feel. It's not, like... We're experiencing something because now there's this epic goal that we have to reach, which is destroy the other team as efficiently as possible. And yeah. it's just not it's not as appealing to me. So like I I'm trying to been playing more like I've been like trying to get my brother and stuff to play with me again, stuff like that, so that way we can like go back. But like the problem is you're so limited because games are so focused on that kind of MOBA setting. The the big thing for me that I, I was going to get to is just the fact that like. You know, the, the whole point of the game mm -hmm. before was that, like, oh, I could always get better at it. And now it, it almost feels like more of a burden mm -hmm. than it is, like, something fun. Like, if I get a game, if I get a fighting game, mm -hmm. it feels like a waste if I don't spend like 40 hours learning, hours yeah, hours, learning yeah. the mechanics and getting good at it. And then keeping up with all the different, like, meta things you yeah. can do. Because, like, you can play, like, you know, I can play Enchanters and then see someone who, like, meta like fights or like a competitive fighter play the same character it's a completely different 
like game. It's like a completely different mechanic. And that that's they use kind of the op. That's kind of the reason why I'm in for like Soul Calibur. Is mm -hmm. like I, I don't need to on the uh -oh. Soul Calibur. Uh oh, oh shatter break. I feel like uh, Lady. Uh, Let's go ahead, everyone. Lady, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep, she goes. He go went down. first for the first time. Uh, uh oh, he's gonna break our shadows. Yeah, shadow break. Uh, he's gonna hurt all three of us. He's got a scythe, or he's got a sickle. They just pounded in the ground. Ah, oh, that hurt. Oof. Oh wow. Yep, CB Ladio's dead. Pretty harsh dead too. It, it actually didn't hurt everyone all that much. Yeah, yeah. CB Ladio was just low, but, but still. But CB was the one who was healing everyone. Yeah. So. But no, I was gonna say like that. Soul it's Caliber okay. Has... We've got Horn. Soul Caliber has uh, like. It has that feeling of a single player game in the sense that I can create a character and go through the story and, and go through the story. On top of the fact that, like, if I can create characters in Soul Calibur, I can make like small stories in my own head. It, it's it's a it's an experience you can have with yourself. Basically. Yeah, yeah. It, that's that's why I like that one. I'm not big on fighting games, and I, I don't I don't know why I have a lot. Actually, I do know why I have a lot of like multiplayer games because I have a lot of friends who just like play multiplayer. Mm -hmm. But Play I, this multiplayer game I noticed that in the last few years, like I've bought more multiplayer games, but I still want that single player experience. That, like, I just for the like a few years back for the first time played Symphony of the Night, and that freaking blew your mind. It blew my damn mind. Right, and it was just like, it, it's one of those things. Like, I never had interest in this game franchise mm -hmm. or anything that was called a Metroidvania. Right. Now I seek it out like hunger because. I... Yeah, and it, it's the same. Like for me, my my taste. It for a while I was like, maybe I just don't like games anymore. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I'm too old for games. And then I began streaming, and mm. now I have entirely different tastes. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. We're going to use you need either, either a Phoenix on CB Ladio or I thought what was the horn thing? I thought we're going to use both just to okay. make sure, just in case something happens to one of us. Yeah. <laughs> Clone. Oh um, no! Like I said, it's going to happen. It, the effect doesn't look very good because of the way the thing's yeah. running. Actually, they looked pretty cool. It's just like him sliding boop, back and boop, forth. Boop, 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 boop. CB's like, I'm still dead. Why oh, that healed that? everyone except... Okay. Yeah, it was a mass heal. It wasn't yeah. a revival. Yeah, I knew that. I just thought that for whatever reason, Bootreg would go first. Why would you believe that? Bootreg is the slowest. Canonically, or rather, I, I didn't think I thought we took more damage than 800 because okay. it heals everyone for 800. Gotcha. So I didn't think that like hard leg and and boot rig would be uh, full health when this hit. Ah, uh, gotcha. Again, really like the design of that one. Yeah, it's pretty cool looking. I put it in the thumbnail that one time. Well, I guess hard leg still had some health to go mm. up. Yeah, but now we're all good. Now everyone's back at max, but it takes so much mana. And also now, ever oh, we have two people to fight now. Yeah. Um, time to use the Iota. Iota, yeah. Yeah. I was gonna um, be like the the whatever the the Tokyo Drift one. Tokyo no, that, Drift. No, that one like it attacked uh, multiple people, but it wasn't as effective as Iota. Yeah. Well, I know. I just realized I was gonna say that, then I realized Iota would have been mm. perfect. But uh, yeah, the uh, the change in games is. Is interesting, but uh, what I like most about developing and changing in game taste is just you know learning to appreciate like what I want out of the game versus like I don't know when I just I kind of just bought games or games were around me where like people were like you know hey this sounds cool and I'm like cool like let's just play a game as long as I'm playing with multiple people I don't care so like it's like even though I'm like super Oof. late into my gaming career I'm just now starting to like develop my own taste as to like what I want to play in a game. Such as it is when you get older. Yeah. I'm having a kind of like the opposite, uh, not the opposite, I, I, I've gotten to a point in video games but I never really paid attention to certain kinds of games like I said with that. It's kind of infecting other parts of media because I'm going back and watching old movies. That you didn't think you yeah. would like before. Yeah. I, 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 I just recently rented uh, The Good, The Bad, and The Ugly mm -hmm. and I'm planning on watching it. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> what? The clone. He punched twice yeah. and it didn't do anything. Mm -hmm. I guess that's the clone. Yeah. yeah. Does it actually just kill him? Let's see. 
Yeah. Yep. Okay. He goes down like a... so. The clone's significantly weaker. And yeah. Just, like, okay. So using Iota was probably. I probably yeah. should have just spirited and done this. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, uh, it's... But we didn't know. I yeah, thought we, maybe we couldn't have known that they weren't going to be equal power. I thought yeah. maybe it split his power between mm. the two of them. Yeah. But no, it's just a distraction. But yeah, no, I, I like. I'm going back and checking out things I never thought I was interested into, mm -hmm. and and that's how. Oh, is he dead? Maybe win? they maybe he did yeah. wow, split wow. his health and that was Yeah, take wow, that Jetty. Damn. He just did not come back. We're too strong. I, I think I grinded a little bit too much no, wow. that one time. <laughs> that one time. We're a bit over leveled. Yep, back to it. Hmm? Hmm? Hmm. Is he saying hmm. something? I think he's saying something. Mm-hmm. I see a future. I see a bleak future for you all. Oh. <laughs> Yours is a future of eternal despair, a dark wilderness, a poop in the night. Then I snapped. <laughs> Fuck. We he, wasted a bunch of time. <laughs> we wasted a bunch of time doing that. Yeah. Like, what a waste of time. We could have been doing other stuff. That guy was just annoying. Yeah. <laughs> All to push that lever. Wow. Like, I feel like the developers were developers were just like, all right, we still have Jetty. Where do we put him? I don't know. Let's just throw him Ooh. into the throne room. We have to flip too many switches just to have the character come in. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Look, what's more annoying? What's the most annoying thing we could have to have them hate a villain? They flip a switch and he walks over and he flips, flips it, it back. Yeah. Inconveniencing you the player. Monster. Yeah. You are the worst person I've ever seen in video. Didn't you have a friend that was murdered by? You are the, the worst, worst person. person. What have, what would have been worse is if we got all the way here and then he went and stabbed uh. him. Then I would have been out for blood. <laughs> then I would have hated him for all eternity. What about that guy that melted your chocolate bar? No, he doesn't exist in my mind. Yeah, he doesn't yeah. exist. We've banished him to the darkest depths. Yep. To the darkest dungeon. Good game, by the way. I need to play that. Yeah, that's another... Yeah. Oh, hey, yeah. these again. Yeah. Have we caught one of them with bootleg? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> I want to, but they won't let me. They won't die for me. Let's see. This one will attack A, and this one will also attack They have a. names, bootleg. No, they don't. They're hard, right? They're, they're, they're just... They're, they're Gilliam, Gilliam A and, and B. Gilliam, yeah. No, I was talking about this one. You're... you're... Whatever. Stop. Yeah. No, it's, it's bad. No. The joke's dead. The joke's dead. The yeah. joke's gone. Um, now it's become a non-joke. <laughs> now it's swiftly drifting into awkward territory. Yeah, Keep it going. <laughs> Eventually you'll get past that awkward plateau and it'll go back into new joke territory. <laughs> you just gotta keep pushing forward. I don't believe in any of that <laughs> nonsense, but yeah. I'm ex I'm inspired with new hope and found. Thank you, Joe. It's, it's just like making love. It'll be awkward and terrible at first, but just keep humping away, and eventually everything will be fine. <laughs> Something snapped <laughs> off. God damn it. That's <laughs> terrible. Yep. But, it, uh, <laughs> what? what are you gonna it say? just reminds me of the, like, uh, uh, the worst, uh, in my opinion, Star Trek series, mm. Voyager. Uh. Like, I think it was the, the second ep Damn it! It's like the second or third episode. Oh, God, we're gonna hit by another thunderstorm. Yeah. The second or third episode where they're, like, trapped in, like, a, a black hole eventually, and they're, like, they try all these science-y things to, like, get it to open up mm. for them, and it doesn't work, and then she's just like, just fly into it. Sometimes you just gotta ram your way through. And it tried to make it seem like, oh, it's lateral thinking or whatever. Right. Where, like, it really comes across as, like, I don't know, just fucking run, run into, into it. it yeah. <laughs> like, we'll get it eventually, man. <laughs> I don't know, guys. What do we do? But I, uh, I, like, I was gonna say something, and then You're all welcome. those jokes happened. Yeah. I'm sorry. It's okay. We were talking about game tastes. Game yeah, taste game tastes. Uh, <laughs> uh, it's, it's lost. Going game back. feel. Yeah, game feel. Yeah. Mouth feel. Yeah. Game fly. Oh, no, because cause that's that's one of those uh, things that like, I guess is still it. I don't know. Well, how do you feel about the term game feel? I don't know what the term game feel is. I assumed Drew would know. No, what does no? game feel? No. Uh, I, I, oh wait. People are when people talk about how you judge a game, they're yeah, like there's okay. ah. they would be like, here's the objective qualities, like the graphics, the sound right. work, the controls. Um, it's but, part of the aesthetic, right? Yeah. Well the thing is the thing is that people were like trying to describe game feel mm. as sort of like this 
other sensation about like how well the different parts go together. Mm -hmm. And like it makes sense, but it also sounds really pretentious when yeah. you're trying to explain it to like layman's terms. Mm -hmm. So then it became this thing where like you'd be playing a game and be like, oh, this is this is great game feel. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, and then I Dubs when he started his food reviews, he did mouth he'd be like, feel, yeah. yeah, tummy feel. Mm -hmm. Tummy feel is an important part yeah. of every. <laughs> He's like, you know, there's the taste and there's the texture and the smell, and then there's tummy feel, <laughs> which is this, just this thing that you can't objectively explain, but it's something about the food that's yeah. delicious. Better the way it sits than in your stomach. Cohesion. <laughs> Probably. No, that's that's even more pretentious and annoying. Cohesion. Uh, um, but no, as far as like. The, we're going circling back to like the last episode, I guess. I was talking about how my grandpa just thought it'd be a good idea for me to do some teaching, um, uh. and I was I was just going like there are a lot of options I've been circling around with like what to do for like jobs and like entertainment and stuff. Because like I, I ultimately like my goal is as a person I want to I get the most oh. fulfillment entertaining. Did we get it? No. no. Uh, Still alive though. It got back up and for uh, a second I thought, thought it was transparent it, yeah. and I was like. <laughs> We're a thunderstorm. Which is not something shit. I normally say. No, but... it is not. <laughs> I mean, uh, I've heard you, you, every day at high school you were just like, <laughs> this guy. You couldn't stop him from hoobity boobin. From hoobity doin. Yeah. But yeah, it's just weird. Like the I spent like the most productive, one of the most productive Saturdays I've had in a long time yesterday, doing like because like I fixed the washer and dryer. Like the dryer needed a new belt, so I fixed that. I like went over like my finances and stuff. Like it was the most adult like Saturday I've had, and like it was just almost depressing how like efficient it was. If that makes sense, like why would that no. be depressing? Usually when I have an afternoon like that, I'm mm -hmm. like, yeah, I accomplished so yeah. much. Yeah. I just I was just like, yeah, I accomplished all these like goals and tasks, but like ultimately I didn't feel like I did anything worthwhile. Like I don't know, it was just weird. You just gotta enjoy. You gotta enjoy the little battles. Nah. Yeah. Not everything has has to be like you know. I changed the world and I made the greatest thing. Nah. Sometimes yeah. you just do the laundry and it's a good day. Really, the fuck. I need to do laundry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sad. You can't change the world without a foundation. So. Yeah, it's just. I don't know. It's just. It just felt weird because like I like one would hear listening off like all the things I did that Saturday. I was like, man, that's a really productive Saturday. But like, I didn't feel like I made any actual ground. And, like, I made a lot of prep work, but, like, I didn't make like, any actual right. ground or move forward on, or do anything with that work. You've worked enough fast food to know that prep work is the best. He hasn't worked any fast worked, food. I don't work fast food. I, I thought you worked I work retail. Us. I worked extremely... I thought you worked at uh, Dunkin' at one No, point. I've never no. worked at Dunkin'. Uh, I've never worked any fast food place. I've only worked as a disher at a fancy restaurant. Uh, well, then here's the thing. Prep work is super damn important. <laughs> well, I know that just from Burps Dungeons and Dragons too. along... Yeah. Dungeon Dragons alone taught me, you know, the prep work is super important. It's but, just maintenance work. Mm, it's like that episode of Rick and Morty, only mm, you didn't watch that episode. Yeah, but... Uh, but, like, yeah. maintenance, yeah, it's just, like, it's but, an but, annoying but key component of things. Yeah, that's what she... That, that, they're, they're, amid all the jokes and mm -hmm. the pretentious, you're too yeah. smart and whatever, the whole, the whole Pickle Rick episode, mm -hmm. he turned himself into a pickle to avoid having to go to therapy. Right. And the therapist makes a point of, like, you know, going to therapy, if, if you've got, like, a complicated mind, it's mm -hmm. kind of like brushing your teeth. It's something you need to do to maintain things. Yeah. And you may feel like it's not accomplishing anything, mm -hmm. and you may feel like almost it's a waste of time, because you could be spending that time doing a million other things, mm -hmm. but it's still something that kind of has to be done. Yeah. And it's yeah. sort of that same way. You just gotta, like, you know, it's gotta be done. It doesn't feel important. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, you decide what's important. Yeah. Make it important. True. Yeah. Feel like an adult. <laughs> feel like an adult. But, yeah, but, like, it's just weird, like, thinking about being a teacher is, like, just going to be a lot of that kind of... feel like they're just repeating the same yeah. thing over yeah. and over again. I feel like it's going to be a lot of that kind of Is this work Super and... Mario? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just a lot of prep work and to give the same yeah, lecture. to give the same mm -hmm. lecture. But, like, at the ooh, same time... Ooh, I ooh is that? And the little demon guy. He's a de he's a little demon. He's a little imp guy. He's gonna, we're gonna catch him. I, we're uh, gonna succeed where others failed. Where others failed. Isn't really. that the guy with the cards? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we might have to watch for cards. Yeah, it'll be interesting. But yeah, I was uh, just I like I was spirit. just like gonna try like saying like there were like all these opportunities because me and my uh, old man have been going down all these like avenues like what do you want to do like. Like, he was more like, when he asked that, he was like, not what job do you want, like, what's more your goal as a yeah. person? 
And I was yep. like, I don't know. Yep. I really like get self fulfillment out of entertaining people. Got game time. Yep. Oh man, two oh, boot rake dies. That's unfair. Both damage. Mm -hmm. It was the only good one. Mm -hmm. That's barely any damage. Yeah. What was the blue one? The blue one, it dies, Yeah. and then we have no chance of catching it. Yeah, but if... Yeah, but, uh, yeah. It was either two boo rig dies, you yeah. both take a little bit of damage, yeah. or it dies, yeah, and then... Which is just not fruitful for us. Yeah. Long term, anyway. Short term yeah. would have been really fruitful. We got hey! him! Hey! Yeah, look at that, nice. I mean, hard leg got it, and he's not the best magical guy, but at least he got it. It took us three t uh, three episodes to get it. <laughs> yeah. I spent that whole, like, half of that first the episode, episode trying to get like, him, We're yeah. gonna go back, we're gonna go back. Damn it. Gotta get back, back to the past Samurai okay. Jack. Yeah, and then, ooh, ooh, uh... The divergent, well, there's an empty road. No, no, never mind. Have we taken the, have we taken the Robert Frost path? The road less traveled, yeah. I've been playing a lot of Pokemon lately, and mm. now I, I'm, I'm like, yeah, I, I want to use a repel, and there's no repel. <laughs> yeah. And it makes me sad. There's no repel mechanic. I no. always look for a repel mechanic in a random. Uh... I actually, yeah, there is, but it involves we we have to equip certain things that lower the encounter rate. But then when we actually get in an encounter, it's worse, and we have yeah. to remember that when we fight a boss, to take off the stuff that just lowers yeah. the encounter rate. Yeah, but uh, the other thing I was like, but the weird, the interesting thing about that conversation, oak cards. Oh wow! Both uh, recover. Mm -hmm. I, I think it's the third. Yeah, that no over I one. I think it's the second one. Damn it! Either way, you were the only one who got it right. <laughs> yeah. Huh. Well. And it killed me. Wow. Oh, okay, oh wow. Oh wow, it's real tragic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, uh, let's see. But no, we were just, Phoenix down. We started talking about uh, like. No, you don't have to say the down part legally. <laughs> legally distinct from Phoenix <laughs> Downs. We uh we tried to go to like you know, what would be a way to achieve that goal without having to actually like, basically like because like the biggest stopper is like you know oh well if I want to do this I need this equipment or I need people. Like, so what's the biggest way of doing that? My dad's a real big pusher for me to do, like, stand-up or something more, a little more traditional entertainment. Uh, but I'm like, even, like, going to an open night night, open mic night, you need to, one, pay a fee and, like, have all this, like, stuff prepared to, like, go in. Whereas, like, you know, there are other opportunities to go past that, I guess. One step beyond. Mm -hmm. The big Love thing about open. that, again, the sort of the same, like, you know, I, I always wanted to be an entertainer. I think I've made no uh, no no qualms about yeah. that. I arguably am succeeding at yeah. that, at being an entertainer. Um, but the thing is, like, when I when I first discovered, like, in middle school, when I was like, I really want to make, I really want to entertain people, I was like, I'm going to be a movie director. Mm -hmm. And I found a movie director, like, usually there's a writer, and usually there are the actors, and there's all these so different basically factors. basically just a ringleader for, like, Yeah, the, uh, you don't have a lot of control. The yeah. producer does all this mm -hmm. stuff. Well, I mean, the director gets control of individual scenes. It's everything else. Yeah. But, but it, like, it, the, the problem is, like, you're still, like, leading the actors. Like, yeah. you're just trying to... Wrangle people. Coordinate things, basically. You're your hurting job. cats. You're basically just coordinating things, yeah. Right. Multiple that goals. was sad. But, but anyway, uh... Alexa, you're, play Despacito. You're gonna continue <laughs> to make a point. Uh... About... It ran away! Huh. That little devil. I guess we get some money anyway. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, like, started at that, then I wanted to make a, uh, a comic book, but even that was like, I need an artist, and right. I can't do that. And eventually I woke, like, I'm working on Legend of Lefty. Pretty much everyone knows about it. Hey, we went the right way. Nice. Treasure chest. A warrior icon. I think we already have two of those. Do we? Let's see here. Uh, you go to the end page. Go to four. Don't uh, worry, I yep, tell we you had two of them now. Yeah. Counter attack at a fixed rate. Yeah. Which was neat, but we I'd prefer to just have stat boosts. I just remembered, we have that uh that card, point card. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Every time we buy something, it tells us how much we've been yeah. saving it the entire game. Yeah. I forgot. When we get to the final boss, we will unleash all of our monetary prowess upon him. And it'll be an economic wonderland. I'd like to charge you for your death. 
Interesting. Paralyzing wave. But the, 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 so the point but yeah, the, get, the, yeah. yeah, the point is, I eventually went to writing a book, Legend of Lefty, and the only reason I went that is not because I love literature or I love writing, but because they left Bootleg behind. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> they paralyzed. They run away, the fight still continues, it's just... We'll come back for your corpse! Yes. <laughs> Yeah, the, the whole reason I went for that was, like, I could do it on myself. Mm -hmm. I have full, co complete creative control over what I write. And you don't need any, like, prep work. You don't need to buy any equipment other than, like, have a thing to write on. Yeah. yeah. And it's the same, like, stand-up, like, yes, you need to buy your way into mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. the place or whatever, but, uh... It's your material. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Let's use one on... On the other one. Yeah. yeah. And if it doesn't kill them, this will. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> just the punching... Yeah, but, uh, but no, so what I, what I thought of, like, doing was, like, you know, again, because, like, I don't, like, I have a, I think I have a stage presence and a look to do stand-up, and I could, you know, make the jokes and stuff, but what I, what I don't like about that idea is just, like, the, uh, not the, I guess I wouldn't say pressure, it's the... What do you think it is, Brandon? I think it's on the far end. This one? Yeah. No, I, I was about to... Nah, oh, he got it right last time. Yeah, yeah. I get it. I guess we'll not figure out what it is. Yeah, well, you killed hard. I, I thought it was the first one. I, yeah. It was the second one. Yeah. The level twos are harder to predict. Yeah. Well, it's because they, yeah. Uh... Yes! Yeah. She's nice. got one, too. No, no, we just Everyone know, that uh... has one, we don't need them to have one. Maybe he'll catch one, too. Maybe, but not likely. Nope. He, he oh, didn't do the thing. Yeah, Weird. Uh, um. But yeah, I was just like, it's just like, the oh, wait, no, fact that, have. like, you know, your. How do I explain it? Like, the reason I don't want to go with the stand is it seems like a little too like traditional, I guess. Mm. As far as like entertaining, like it just it feels like it's going to be an old like an old but like something's going to change in the platform that, or you're going to have to change something in the platform to make it more relevant. Because like yeah, stand up still like relevant as an entertainment platform, but like there's so many more opportunities in like Twitch and like other stuff to see development and grow with an industry versus like you know the stand up which is like a old art form or the I mean you could you could do both yeah that that would be my big thing mm. is just like you know being good at stand up is not going to hurt you if mm. you really want to yeah. go with Twitch like yeah it's probably good to establish yourself mm. on Twitch if yeah. you can but I mean, until you can afford that, like, yeah. if you can do stand up, that'll only make you a better Twitch yeah, person. Yeah, like, yeah. it's a great way to cut your teeth, regardless. That's fair. That that's another thing to like. What what do you what happens if you fail? Yeah, that's well, another, like, nothing, like, well, you've lost however much money you invested in. And then, um, and then what little time you spent on the set? Yeah. yeah. Uh, well, that's like nights. that's like again, like I've, like the few times I've been on stage and like the stage work I have done, I just you know. The biggest lesson you can learn is just like you're never not every joke's gonna land not yeah. every bit's gonna like laugh not every don't, time you do a dance is the audience gonna clap like don't just, break down into using the n-word at people basically yeah. the, just because there's silence in the room you know it doesn't mean that you're bad like as a entertainer or something it just means that either it was a tough crowd or you just didn't like work the room right like there's something to be learned from whatever you did i know Boo like never gonna capture yeah, no. one of those <laughs> But CB gained a level from reviving Hardleg. Nice. She learned a valuable experience. Exactly. <laughs> Don't let your friends die. <laughs> but like, it's like, I'm not afraid of, like, you know, failing at being one. Because, like, you know, I am. That's, just, that's, just, that's just the nature of going up in front of people, is that sometimes interactions are going to fail. How big is this tower? It's too big. I'm beginning to realize I have a desperate fear of failure. <laughs> Well, yeah, most people don't like failure. Yeah. If you like failure, you might have something wrong with you, honestly. I love to fail. It's so I, comforting. I don't have enough. Like you can like learning to like learning from a failed experience and like the joy mm -hmm. that or like the joy that comes up from rising above that failure. But like that's yeah. different than liking failing. Yeah, I know, I know. She didn't have enough either. Fuck Weird. It. Damn it! We away. don't have enough to test out this new guy. Damn it! <laughs> that, that's funny. Iota can't. What happened? Hopefully there's a thing that lets us... I tried to run away, and they're like, Nah, dog, you ain't doing that. Nah. But, but they're dogs, and we're not. Yeah. They're, they're rotten. Fine! I'll this kill them point, all, then! Say, at this point, it's just more efficient to not run. Great, and now Hardleg can't move. Mm -hmm. Bootleg's like, my chance! Mm -hmm. Wait, no, I'm not a rapist. Yeah. <laughs> 
but I can look a whole lot. <laughs> he's such good. he's stuck there in such a beautiful pose. He's like a statue man. He's numb apparently. I wonder yeah. if he's comfortable. No. Uh... I've become a big bum. Uh, let's see. Let's just yeah, use Iota right. on Iota. <laughs> we'll show them the meaning of themselves. Yeah, show them I, the meaning of haste. But I thought about doing another tactic. I thought about doing because I'm because I'm better at like talking my way into a situation than I am than just there so than I am like filling out an application <laughs> or doing something. So like what I was gonna do was like you know after an improv show like if I wanted to like get a crew together or something just go talk to people afterward. I find a lot of things can happen after that. Yeah, improv My... troupe could always work. It'd be the same guy like, getting experience yeah. as a stand-up. Yeah, the problem is you know finding the you know the, like you have to enter a class and like there's like you know. I'm I'm gonna be honest. When you said I could talk myself into or out of a situation, I immediately thought, oh, he's gonna become a con man. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's. <laughs> I I'm just saying, I could con people. Mm. I do have a whole bunch of fake watches. Yeah, yeah but no. Just gotta work on my sleight of hand. <laughs> I'm pretty good at getting people to do things they don't want to do. No, I was just saying, like, I like I know what I want to do, like as far as entertainment, but like I need either a cast of people or equipment, and I have neither. So like, I need to find something in the meantime to do that feels like moving forward in that goal without, like, you know, yeah. wasting time. That's what I said. That's I think the stand-up would work good for you in that yeah. regard. Because yeah. it's something you can do on your own. It's a great way to stay in shape. Thank, good thing they didn't turn off the elevator, yeah. I tell you what. No, get back! <laughs> I wanted to go around the elevator, not back in the elevator. We're already past our time. I guess By next time lot. on Legs Play, we go up the elevator. Yeah, are, are you guys good for, for another episode? I, I do uh, possibly one more, but I actually... Uh, Cause that's the thing is like if we go, we gotta go until we reach like a stopping point. It's gotta be a whole nother episode. I can't end it here because there's no safe spot. Right. Uh, it's 5:42. Uh, I guess I can try to go one more. Episode. All right, we'll end it right now. We'll go one more. We'll be back on legs play with a back on legs play. We'll do it again, right, old yeah. school style. I'll do it my way. I don't know what's going on. Comments if you comment in the comments. Comments in the comments if you comment in the comments. If you like these guys, please subscribe.